What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Bolivia for another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands with me, Splattercat, hanging out for a little while, riding my dirt bike, you know, getting a little bit of that ying 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 life in. Just trying to get sideways, make a bunch of noise, maybe swear around some kids, you know how it goes. When you ride dirt bikes, you gotta live that dirt bike life. I think that uh, we're probably gonna go blow up some cocaine ovens pretty soon. But as of right now, actually on this road, I keep having problems coming up behind people who are more than capable of murdering me. And I'd prefer to keep that on the DL if at all possible. So maybe I'll go overland a little bit here. I don't know. With this dirt bike, how are we looking as far as terrain goes? Because I don't want to be near that purple car. That purple car can definitely ruin my life. And since he's going the same direction I'm going and he has the ability... To more than likely outrun me. Eh. Doesn't seem like a solid plan to me. But yeah, we're gonna go blow up some cocaine ovens. So welcome on back. Have yourself a seat. Grab yourself a smoke or a drink or whatever it is that makes you comfortable before you hang out with Splattercat as he attempts to get this goddamn bike of a wall. Uh, yeah. Probably about a kilometer out. It's not that far. If this bike could avoid going into wheelie mode every four seconds that'd be cool too I don't think this is gonna work I took the bike and I think I made the wrong choice back it up real quick back it up we're gonna turn around and go this way the hills are alive with the sound of me sucking at driving I could have got a helicopter but the helicopter was camped by a lot of people and to be honest I have triggered a lot of alerts just riding my just riding my dirt bike there must be some city ordinance or some kind of thing that keeps us from being allowed to ride dirt bikes up in this beezy fashizi so, as we come up on our target here, I'd prefer it if we could avoid setting off any major alarms this time around. I'd like to do this. It's called Ghost Recon, not Bullhorn Recon. And lately... Down. They're gonna see you. So we're suspected right now. There's a guy up on the tower. I have swapped over to the USG. I've also got a heavy machine gun with me, which I think is going to be pretty rowdy. There we go. I just need I need him to die. We'll clear out this looking post up here first. Uh, we're no longer suspected, which is good. At the entrance to the camp. That's fine. He could be wherever he wants to be. That's not even where we're going right now. I just got to get rid of this overwatch up on the hill before we do anything else. I brought a heavy MG with me this time. Because I feel like our missions fall apart frequently enough to warrant the bringing of heavy ordnance that will shoot down helicopters. Oh shit, that guy's got it. There we go. I shot that guy in the dick to death. I felt like he deserved it. He's probably done some bad stuff recently. Like, he probably cut somebody off in traffic. Or he was probably that person trying to pay in, like, pennies and dimes and shit at the Walmart. You know, we, we gotta put rounds on people for the things that really, the real reasons. It's not the cocaine dealing. It's just that you take too long in line, man. You take too long in line. And now that we've taken this spot, does this guy have a rifle up here? We may be able to really, really hurt these guys if we can get access to a rifle from on top of this hill. I am not super good with the rifle. It's probably a great way. The last time I tried to use the rifle, the plan fell apart on the spot of it all. Yeah, so we've got an M40 over here. I'm going to go ahead and check the mag. Okay. And so give me... Yeah, put a silencer on it, too, if you could, please. So we've got the silencer. Let me just take a minute with the binos here. See what's going on. So I'm going to mark you. Target marked. And you know what? Take him now. Might as well. Get him out of the way early rather than late. Got another, tango. another narco right there. Another narco right there. We've got an alarm panel right there. Can I mark that? No, I can't. Okay. Well, let me pull out of here then. And in order to keep the alarm box from becoming something that makes me upset... No, I'm not going to shoot it with a USG. There we go. They no longer have an alarm system now. 310 meter shot. That's a pretty good shot. That's a that's a reasonable shot. 
definitely going to put it a little bit overhead if we want to do it that way. Our mission is over there in that region. Can I... Is it possible for me? Oh, I can go 4.5 times. Oh, shit. Is there like a hold my breath button? That's a kill. That's all that I really want to know, is if there's like a hold my breath button, I would love to have that. We're far enough out right now. I have to lead that one to like right there maybe to make the shot. He's also got somebody behind him. I was going to say, I don't think this gun's going to have a firing mode swap. Going full auto with a sniper doesn't seem like something that's going to happen very frequently. Another one over there. All right, well, let's infiltrate. Let's go ahead and I've wiped out all the main guard camp guys, so we should be in okay shape to get in there. I've gotten rid of my MP5, though. Damn it. I need my MP. I don't want to be sniping up in here. And all of my other guard... All, I'm sorry. All of my other guns kind of lack the suppressive qualities. The MP5 fall off the tower? Where'd the MP5 go? Oh, don't tell me that. Shit. Okay, so my MP5 is gone as of right now. We're going to have to make do then. I got to do this thing with the uh, USG. That's fine. I think I can make that work for me. Everybody that's tagged right now should be down. And we go, because we have a Nunidad patrol coming through. Duck inside here. They go past. Alright, now the, gar the game is swearing up and down that there's a bunch of enemies over on this side. So let's maybe get some drone action in. That's just a worker right there. Okay, so he's got somebody right there. What about the rest of the wall space? Alright, we're on the opposite side of the wall of some of these people, so I'm not gonna... Not gonna stress about it too much. I don't see... Do the civilians see me? God, I hope the civilians don't see me. So he's down. We're going to move on this guy quick over here. Alright, so he's down too. That should have been a good round through the heart. On this side, I'm going to mess with my loadout real fast to get rid of that and get my MP5 back. So that I actually have something that can like survive a little siege in here. I mean, night vision. What does he have? Like an AK? Okay. There's a helicopter over here. Don't think we're going to be using that a whole lot. I don't know if the civilians are a liability, in all fairness. Like, I'd like to think they probably are. No, I do not want that thing that you just did. Not even a little. I wanted to swap ammo, but not guns. There we go. Oh, we got new paint presets, too. That'll be fun to play around with. Oh, 
Okay. So now we've eliminated pretty much all resistance on that side. Let's get moving towards those cocaine bins. Don't think we need any ammo. Technically, I could cross over right there and avoid some accidents in the future, but... We'll let the rebels know where to find these supplies. They can pay us back later. For now, I can live with what we got going on, though. Where you got him? Right by that stack of tires. Yeah. That's a kill. Oh, yeah. Feels like we got a bunch of friends. So he's down. I don't hear anything else happening on this side, so we're just going to keep it low and slow. That's fine, man. Send whatever you're going to send. I don't even care. I'm just trying to move through this without any trouble. This dude could be trouble. Pretty thick patrol grid. That dude's coming through right there. Alright, we're gonna get him through the doorway here. Yo, cartel gunman. Maybe not. That's fine, just keep spotting. If you guys keep spotting, I'll keep being happy. Oh yeah, there is an alarm over there right there. Not anymore. Ain't nobody radioing out of here if I can help it. Put it on semi just in case I don't fire too many rounds and ruin my shit like I did last time. So I feel like we got a pretty good shooting scoot going on right now. Well, it's lights on now. If it wasn't before, unfortunately, eventually, you're going to tap somebody that's just not ready to get tapped. If I can get the bird to go away, I think we'll be all right. Ah, uh, just stay low and quiet. They have no idea where we're at, so they're basically just fishing. Alright. Ooh. There we go. Now we're good. What else is going on in here? What kind of stuff can I borrow for the rebels? I'm just going to stay low and they can do whatever they're going to do and I'm not going to worry about it. All right. Don't 
thought there was somebody up here that I hadn't gotten rid of yet. Is there anybody I can get from up here? Just chilling on the roof like Batman looking over the edge. I think that fall is probably a little too far, so I can't get down from here, but... Still, I got options I didn't have before. And they'll calm down in just a minute. I think they're all downstairs. Is that a train? Holy shit, dude. Sound a little bit too much like my house right now. I got a train that runs like five feet behind my house. No lie. You don't realize how busy a train schedule is until you live next to a train. Like, apparently trains are still in mass usage. Man, everybody's feeling that train life. No lie. Oh, I thought that was... He scared the shit out of me. Dude, why are you guys exploding shit? Come on. Is that like really, really necessary? Alright, screw it. Going in hot and heavy. Bringing out the 121. The thumper. Bucka, 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 bucka. The objective. Get ready. We need to get inside and destroy their mixing vats and ovens. Taking those out will shut the place down for months. Well, then let's do that thing. Oh shit! Here they come. Target down. I don't see anything else inside of here though, so I think we're solid. Ah, shit. My bad. Sorry. Uh, I, I don't know how to fix this. That was my bad. Well, you better get the hell out of here. That dude thinks he's hella raw. I do try to open up with like 35 rounds. He was just like, action hero! That came from inside the lab. Y'all need to clear out. There is an active gun battle taking place in here. You guys are sticking around like you really, really need this job. Like shit. He's down. Alright, we're clear. Grab some ammo. Frag out. And we will start putting some love taps on these tanks. Tango Mark, he's a little close to civilians. Eh, he'll be fine. A couple more nades. Probably get both of these if I just throw it right Frag there. Yeah, that's the plan. He definitely appears to be going through an extended period of an economic downturn of a cocaina pura nature. Eh. Went okay. We got some intel over here. I won't turn it down. Looks like this place has mostly been turned over and... What is that? Sorry, I'm walking into walls right now. I can't see where shit. 
we have an intel over on this side, which looks like it's inside this part of the building, maybe. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of places I can hang a left. There we go. Probably upstairs. It looks to me as though our way up onto the catwalk, ooh, on the catwalk, is back here. That dude just caught 121 in the face. What caliber does this thing fire? Probably nothing polite would be my guess. Alright, let's go get our intel because it might unlock more guns. Which, frankly, I'm actually I'm looking forward to a little bit of like a period of change, you know what I mean? Try out some new things. That's giving us a shopping list. Picture evidence. Okay, a purchase order for chemical precursors that have been written by the Okoro Labs. Okay. Doesn't look like I have anything else going on. Just bail up out of here real fast. And then I uh, hope that doesn't kill me. Perfect. It didn't. I didn't think that it would. But you never know with this game. You never know with games in general how the fall damage is going to be. Some games are just like, fall damage, you fall 13 feet, you are now dead. Hit the ground and just explode like a hand grenade. And you're just like, alright. Uh, I suppose that's the way she goes, Rick. I don't know. Ooh, this might have a real gun in it. What did we get? Go nice with my boots. Oh, nice. X an SR S35 or a 635. Cool. What is it? Is it better than the 416 we're rocking? Oh, it's a submachine gun. So it's a little guy. All right. Noise reduction is kind of bad, so it's noisy. But it looks like it does way more damage. So it's a noisy ass little gun. got a slower firing rate too. It's got a little bit more buck to it. Alright. See, the point at which I start getting interested in was when they like to me like dual wield some submachine guns. Like one in each hand, just brace them and just like uh, 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 just do some gangster shit. Get hella rowdy up in here. When I get to do that, let me know. I don't think I got the driver. I was gonna try though, real fast. Probably could have if I'd used the SM or the heavy machine gun, but ah, we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Getting ourselves into all kinds of trouble, popping off rounds at everybody, basically imploding a nation single handedly, which is always a super polite thing to do once you get the old visa renewed. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Bye bye, everybody.